Negative thoughts are something that everyone deals with. Whether it's beating yourself up for things you've said in the past that you regret or worrying about the future and the way something might go, the way that those thoughts control our behaviors and our actions and our emotions is something that usually feels like it's outside of our control. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a conversation that I had with my eight-year-old neighbor. And no, there's not gonna be some groundbreaking advice that you haven't heard somewhere else before. But what you will hear is the perspective of an innocent kid who struggles with his own negative thoughts and his own limiting beliefs. And he'll not only share the three things that he's learned about negative thoughts in his short eight years, but he'll also explain how if you just think of those thoughts like a toilet, you might find the same relief that he has. But first, this is the FitMass where together we learn to develop habits that help us live beyond our mental health struggles to create happier, healthier lives. He's Zach. He lives in the future with his anxiety. He's Jeremy, and he lives in the past with his depression. And we get together once a week in the present to share the obstacles we face and how we overcome them. All right, so we're doing things a little differently today. Zach is off, and I am actually on the road. I'm recording this on the beach, literally walking barefoot in the sand while I talk to you through my phone, which feels really weird. With that walking barefoot on the beach comes the negative thoughts about even recording this episode the way I'm doing it right now. But it was actually on the beach a few days ago when I was talking with my eight-year-old neighbor, Wyatt, about how he stays so positive that I was motivated to record this episode. You see, most kids, you ask them how their day is, what's going on, how was their day at school? They'll tell you fine, or it was okay, or you know, maybe you'll get a, an anecdote or two. Every single time I see Wyatt and I ask him how he's doing, he gives me an enthusiastic, great. And it's just amazing to me how positive he is. Like everything is just always good. And I, and I had to ask him how he manages to keep such a positive outlook. And sure, he's eight years old. He doesn't have bills to pay. He doesn't have the pressures of adult life that the rest of us do. But it was in his innocence that I found a ton of wisdom and a few laughs and a few lessons that I think all of us could learn a thing or two from. If you're tired of dealing with those pesky post-workout aches and pains, we've got something you need to check out right now. It's the new Recover Ice Bath. It's the ultimate game changer for your recovery routine. And guess what? It's surprisingly affordable, and we're going to throw in free shipping anywhere in the world. That's not something we can offer forever, so you got to act fast to get your hands on this incredible ice bath. So don't let muscle soreness slow you down. Go to our website, click on the link in the show notes for this episode, and experience the power of the new Recover Ice Bath for yourself. So like I said, this is a little unconventional for us. This is a, a little different from our normal episodes, but I want to share with you now the conversation I had with my friend Wyatt while we were hanging out on the beach during an after-school event the other day where we just talked about how he manages to stay so positive. Wyatt's one of the most positive kids I know. Love talking to him, everything's always great. But he was telling me he's got three things he's already found that are good about negative thoughts. So Wyatt, what are the three good things about negative thoughts? Well, usually you always get over them, but if they're really bad, you can't really get over them. But I just try to ignore those thoughts. Yeah. And and try to move on from them. but. And then the second one is, they always try to pull you back. I've found a way to push them back. Okay, how do you do it? I, 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 do, I try meditating. That kind of pushes it back just a little yeah. for just enough time that I can do what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that, so that, and then the bad thoughts come back. Right. And Where did you learn about meditation? Uh, uh, sometimes I watch yoga. Nice, me too. Really? Yeah. Nice. I just I got a, I just started a new yoga program yesterday. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, I just watch it on TV. Okay. Uh, do you do the yoga too, or you just watch it? Uh, I watch it so, sometimes. Uh, one episode, I I watch it and. And, and, medi and meditate while, while watching it because oh. words are coming, so it helps me yeah. get rid of it and, or get rid of the bad thoughts. Right. And then also... And then... Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say, that part, but... Uh, three. Number three. You... It feels like if you just close your eyes and try... and try to massage yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, not... 
not physically, like mentally. Mm. It really, it can sometimes just, I think of it as a toilet. That might be disconcerting for some people, <laughs> but what? That's hilarious. And you just flush the bad thoughts. You just flush the bad thoughts? So walk me through, like, what's going on in your head when you're flushing those bad thoughts? How, how does that process feel on the inside? So... I try to make I try to make my mind blank so I'm not thinking of any of anything mm-hmm. and then wait for the bad thoughts to come in then I start meditating mm-hmm. and when I meditate it it kind of feels like it's it's starting to pull it it's mm-hmm. starting to pull the nozzle that would flush right and and then I, and I and then I breathe in and out and just try to relax and then that just flushes them away and so when you breathe it out, is, it, is that where it's flushing is out through your breath? Or do you sort of feel it going from your head through uh, your body and then out your toenails? I think it, I feel like it just comes out of, I think it just leaves you. I don't know where yeah. it leaves you from, but. That's yeah. amazing, man. It does? It is. There's, I know a lot of adults my age that aren't as tapped into their feelings as you are. That's pretty incredible that you have really? the ability to stay so focused on the positive and meditate and to know that when you watch yoga that you can you can just hear the words and adapt that to your own meditation. That's that's pretty profound. Dude, how old are you? Eight. You're eight years old. Yeah. Do you know how much farther along I'd be in my life if I knew what you know at eight years old? How? A lot. <laughs> Good work, man. I'm proud of you. Thanks. All right, there you have it, my conversation with my neighbor, Wyatt, just a great kid that I'm really excited to have uh, be in my life and and that of my family's. Some key takeaways there, obviously, we're talking about meditation, which all of you guys that have been listening to us for a while are no stranger to. We talk about it all the time because it is so foundational to having a happier, healthier, more balanced life. It's just one of the things that we rely on, and so we always try to remind people that it is there as a resource if you need it. But I also just love that he sort of does it his own way. For him, he thinks of it like a toilet, flushing the negative thoughts out of his head when they are overwhelming, when they're too much, when when they are what is dominating the space in his brain. He literally, through his breath and through meditation, just flushes them away. So I'm curious, what's your method? What's what's your toilet flushing? How do you get the negative thoughts out of your head? We would love to hear from you. You can uh, contact us through our Facebook group if you're if you're in there, and if you're not, please join. And you can also sign up for our newsletter. That is available at our website, thefitmess.com. And that's where we'll be back in just a few days when I'm off the beach and back at my desk and Zach is back from his world travels. We'll be back there with a brand new episode at thefitmess.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you then. We know this podcast is amazing and doesn't seem to lack anything, but we need a legal disclaimer. Prior to implementing anything discussed in this podcast, it is your responsibility to conduct your own research and consult your physician. You should assume that Jeremy and Zach don't know what they're talking about, and they're not liable for any physical or emotional issues that occur directly or indirectly from listening to this podcast.